Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2013 American thriller film called Prisoners. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. As we begin the film, we see Keller Drover and his son Ralph driving back from a hunt. Keller explains to Ralph the importance of being ready in times of disaster. Later in the day, Grace Drover gets ready to leave home with her daughter Anna. Arriving at their neighbors, they are greeted by Nancy Birch. Franklin Birch plays with Anna and one of Birch's daughters, Joy. As everyone sets up for Thanksgiving dinner, Anna wants to go play outside with Joy. Keller says to ask Ralph to go with them, and they go off. Outside, Anna and Joy start to mess with an RV, but are pulled away by Ralph and Eliza. After dinner, Anna and Joy ask the adults if Anna can take Joy back to the drover's house to find a whistle Anna misplaced. They are given permission to go, and the pair rush off. Sometime after, Keller asks Ralph and Eliza where their sisters are. Keller goes to his house to try and locate them, but can't find them. Keller goes back to the Birches, and nobody seems to know where Anna and Joy are. Ralph recalls the RV that they had passed earlier, and takes Keller where it was located, but it's gone. Keller decides to call the police. Over at a diner, Detective Loki is eating alone, and gets a call about the suspected RV. He finds the RV and goes to inspect it. The RV suddenly pulls away, but crashes just as quickly. Loki goes inside and finds Alex Jones in the rear of the RV. Alex is taken out to locate the girls, but he won't answer. Alex is then arrested. Loki continues the interrogation, but Alex denies all his accusations. Later in the night, Loki checks out Alex's aunt. Mrs. Holly's house, where he lives from time to time. Loki gets the report that Alex's RV is clear of any evidence and directs another police team back to Aunt Holly's house. The next day, Loki goes over to Drover's house and Grace confides that people will probably think her and her husband are crazy when the girls come out of hiding just fine. Grace notes that Loki's captain said he had solved every case he had been working on he states he will find Anna and Joy, and is interrupted as Keller joins them. Loki informs Keller that no evidence against Alex has been discovered, and in disbelief, Keller begins to question how that could be possible. Loki tries to pacify Keller, but Keller gets more and more upset. Loki assures Keller the police are considering all possibilities, and that he will do his job. As Loki leaves, Keller asks if Alex will be kept in custody until the girls are found. Loki informs him that Alex will soon be released unless formal charges are brought forth. Loki makes multiple stops through the day and night and makes a final stop at Father Patrick Dunn's residence. Loki sees Father Patrick unconscious inside and proceeds to look around the home. Loki finds a hidden basement and goes in to investigate. He finds some statues and then locates a body tied to a chair. He wakes up Father Patrick and presses him for information about the body. The next day, the search party continues, and Keller gets a call from Grace, letting him know Alex is being released. As Alex is released, he is swarmed by reporters. Keller comes and attacks Alex for information. Alex whispers that the girls didn't cry until he left them, and Keller is dragged away. Captain Richard tells Keller the police will ignore the attack, but that he needs to go home. Keller wants Alex arrested again, but Captain Richard tells him to fill Loki in on the new information. Later, Loki goes to visit Alex and Holly, asking if he said anything to Keller. Loki asks if Alex wants Holly to go to jail, if he isn't telling the truth. He calls Keller and tells him he is moving on from Alex as a suspect. Keller then goes to comfort Grace, who just wants Anna to come home. She demands Keller make Anna come home, and Keller gives her some medicine to calm her down. Keller hands Ralph the pills and tells him to look after Grace while he goes to help the police. He goes to Holly's home and waits outside until nightfall. He gets a weapon and approaches Alex as he walks his dog. Keller asks where he heard the Christmas jingle he was singing, threatening him with the weapon. The next day, Keller takes Franklin to his old home where he is keeping Alex hostage. Franklin is shocked and says they should take Alex to the police. 
Keller says they need to force him to talk or their daughters will be gone forever. Keller talks to Alex and gives him one last chance to confess. We then hear a loud thud as Keller yells for Alex to confess what he knows. Meanwhile, Loki is back at the station looking up old child disappearance cases. He then goes to follow up the lead, talking to Mrs. Millen, who had her child abducted 26 years ago. It is very near to where Alex's RV was first sighted. Later that evening, Keller is still interrogating Alex, who is now badly injured. Alex refuses to talk, but Keller is sure he knows something. Keller threatens further, but Alex still gives up nothing. Franklin attends a vigil for the missing girls and comforts his grieving family. Loki is nearby and notices Brad Taylor placing a teddy bear amongst the candles. Loki follows as Brad leaves and takes off after him as Brad runs away. Loki chases Brad to a house and is surprised and attacked by Brad and ends up losing him by a busy road. The next day, Franklin and Nancy see Brad on the news as a new suspect, but leaves to go with Keller to interrogate Alex again. Keller is sure that Alex and Brad know each other and goes to find the truth. Franklin is visibly upset, but goes as well. Meanwhile, Loki informs Captain Richard that Alex never came back home from walking his dog some nights earlier. He questions why Alex wasn't under surveillance and that he needs to know where everyone involved is. Loki re-watches his interrogation of Alex to see if he can find any new information. He receives a call and goes to a shopping center to meet with a witness about Brad. Meanwhile, at the abandoned house, Keller tells Franklin they are running out of time. Franklin returns home and is questioned by Nancy as to his whereabouts and he confesses to Nancy. Shortly after, Nancy confronts Keller about kidnapping Alex. She demands to see Alex and is taken to him. Nancy begs Alex to help her find her daughter, unties him, but then Alex attacks her and tries to escape. Keller then shows Franklin and Nancy his new way of getting information from Alex. Franklin claims Keller doesn't even truly know that Alex is the culprit and this has to stop. Keller simply gives him the hammer and leaves. However, Nancy stops Franklin from opening up the device and they both leave as well. Meanwhile, Brad sneaks in on Eliza while Franklin and Nancy arrive home. Brad escapes into the Keller's home, waking Grace up. Grace thinks it's Anna as Brad again escapes. Ralph goes to calm her down and she explains to Loki what had happened. The next day, he tails Keller and follows him around town to the abandoned house. Keller notices Loki and goes to confront him. Keller gets in his car and Loki asks him where he was going. Keller lies, saying he just wanted to buy something from the store. Loki says he knows that Keller hasn't been helping the police like he told Grace. Loki informs Keller that Alex is missing and Keller claims Alex left town because he's guilty. Keller becomes enraged, worrying about his daughter and demanding Loki look for her and not to follow him anymore. Keller walks home and goes to sleep. He hallucinates that Anna is beside him. He asks who did this to her, but wakes up before he gets an answer. Keller goes back to Alex and puts him through terrible pain to get any new information. At the same time, Loki comes to the house as Loki approaches. Keller rushes to hide as Loki comes inside. Loki comes across Keller on the floor and proceeds to look around. Keller shows Loki around the house, but Loki gets a call about Brad and rushes off, leaving Keller behind. Loki finds Brad at home and asks why Brad ran away from him. Brad tries to escape, but is captured. Loki begins to search the home while he calls for backup. He breaks into a room and finds a bunch of crates. He opens a crate and finds some dangerous snakes covered in bloody clothing. He does the same for the others with the same results. In the last crate, he finds a book full of mazes. He quickly takes it and leaves. Later, Loki informs Keller that they haven't found any bodies, but the Birches identify some of Joy's clothing that was found in the crates. 
Keller recognizes one of Anna's socks and begins to cry. He blames Loki for wasting time and not saving his daughter. Back at home, news reporters come to the drover's house. Keller tells Ralph not to talk to them, but Ralph counters that Eliza told him the girls were no longer alive. Keller insists it isn't true and to not let Grace know. Ralph says that Keller has just been leaving the family on their own and Keller storms off in a rage. Meanwhile, Loki has been watching Brad go over the mazes Loki had found. Loki enters the room and asks what Brad is drawing. He attacks Brad when he won't tell him, but in the scuffle, Brad gets a hold of a weapon and ensures he won't tell the detectives anything. Back at the abandoned house, Keller prays for forgiveness and confesses to Alex he doesn't know what to do anymore, but knows Alex still knows something. Alex says he will find the girls in the maze. Keller demands to know where the maze is, but to no avail. Keller goes to Alex's aunt and apologizes. Elsewhere, Captain Richard tries to comfort Loki about not solving the case in time. Loki is extremely frustrated and breaks down. He then notices a picture similar to the maze Brad drew and gets a call. Loki goes to Brad's house and he is told that most of the evidence is fake and the mazes were just copies. Loki insists there is a connection and questions how Brad got Anna and Joy's clothes. He speeds back to the drover's house and finds evidence that Brad stole Anna's socks from the house. Grace gets a call and while Keller pulls up to the house, she races out, saying that Joy was found, but not Anna. They rush to the hospital, to Franklin and Nancy. Keller tries to question Joy, but is stopped. Joy recalls the events that led up to her being found and says that Keller was present where they were taken. Keller races off and speeds onto the street. Loki pursues him to the abandoned house and hears Alex in pain. Keller shows up to Holly's house and offers to help fix things around the house to apologize. Once inside, he claims he knows the girls were at her home. Holly then points a weapon at him and forces him captive. She makes him put on handcuffs and orders him to drink a sedative in order to see his daughter. Keller gets a call, but is told to put his phone in the disposal. She confesses to kidnapping multiple children with her late husband. She forces him inside a car and calls the kidnappings a war to make people turn into monsters like Keller. Holly also confesses that Alex never harmed Anna or Joy, but she decided to take them. She leads him to a hole in the ground, injures him, and forces him inside. He falls inside, further hurting himself. She says that she will reunite him with his daughter in the hole and seal it shut. Meanwhile, Loki is told to notify Holly that the police have found Alex back in the hole. Keller struggles around and finds Anna's whistle. Loki arrives at Holly's and as he knocks, Holly goes to where she has hidden Anna. Loki enters and hears movement in the house. He arrives just as Holly gives Anna an injection. She asks to be cremated and attacks Loki. He defends himself and leaves Holly to save Anna. He is badly injured, but speeds down the highway to get help and makes it to the ER. Later on, it seems Keller is still missing after being put in the hole as Loki recovers from his injuries. Grace comes to visit with Anna, Nancy, and Joy. Grace talks to Loki, telling him Keller hasn't contacted her and asks if Loki will find him. She says she misses him and that he did what he had to do to find Anna. Back at Holly's, Loki watches the excavators leave, but hears Keller whistle down in the hole and the screen goes black. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.